Good evening. It is Wednesday night and the big story on Action News tonight is breaking news. A religious festival giving way to shots fired and several minutes of sheer chaos. It all began just before 2.30 today here at 48th and Lancaster in Philadelphia's Parkside neighborhood. Some 1,000 people were gathered there in celebration of Eid al-Fitr, the Muslim holiday marking the end of Ramadan. That's when at least four gunmen started shooting, hitting at least two victims and sending scores of people running for their lives. Among those who ran, several young children separated from their families amid the panic. A live look now at the scene from Chopper 6 tonight. The scene much calmer at this hour, but the evidence of that panic plain to see. Tents and picnics abandoned when the gunfire rang out still remain tonight, as does that police presence. We have got live team coverage here at 6 o'clock tonight. Leland Pender live at Penn Presbyterian Hospital, where some of the wounded were taken today. Brianna Smith at that Unification Center for Families. But let's begin with Action News reporter Annie McCormick live at that scene in Parkside. Annie, we also know one person was hit by a police wagon as they ran from the scene today. That's right, that child that was hit is expected to be okay. The child hit by the vehicle that you were just referencing, Brian. I am on Lancaster Avenue right now between 47th and 48th Streets, just to give you an idea of how large this scene is, how many blocks it does span. You can see down there. We're going to move the camera over to Clara Mohammed Square. That is where the celebration was happening. You can see there, though, now trash cans knocked over. That's all from when people were running from the gunfire. This is where the majority of cell shell casings have been located so far and police are still holding this scene. Now, the shooting happened during the end of a Ramadan celebration with more than a thousand people in the square. Police say two groups were firing at each other. It sounded like about 30 shots. What we know right now, Brian, is five people are in custody. That includes four males and one female, all found with guns. They range in ages from 15 to 21. Now, one of the 15-year-olds in custody was shot by police, shot in the shoulder. They're in stable condition at Penn Presbyterian Hospital. Police say that teen was armed. The officer who shot the teen secured the teen's weapon and transported the teen to the hospital where he is currently stable. Now, of the injured, two were shot during the actual shooting, including a 22-year-old shot in the stomach and a 16-year-old shot in the hand. Additionally, in the chaos, a 15-year-old was hit by a police vehicle and their leg was broken, but they are expected to be okay. Well, Police Commissioner Kevin Bethel spoke to us a short time ago and said the investigation is in the early stages. When we see individuals who are beefing and going at each other, oftentimes they don't care where they see, them at, see each other at. And so in this case, clearly they saw something going on in the park. What that was, it caused two factions to start to pull out guns and shoot at each other. The investigation, we'll, we'll be looking into that. And back out here live, we're asked, being asked to move out of the street because they want to open Lancaster Avenue back up at this point. One other thing, additionally, those officers that heard those shots, those 30 shots fired, were told were writing tickets around the area. And additionally, they already had officers here in place, as they do whenever there are large gatherings in the city. For now, reporting live in Parkside, Annie McCormick, Channel 6, Action News. Brian. All right, Annie, will let you break down and move out of the way. That's a good sign that street is reopening again tonight. Thank you. Let's bring in Action News reporter. Leland Pender. We spent the afternoon outside Penn Presbyterian Hospital. Uh, Leland, the injuries here were gratefully non life threatening. That is good news, and that is the case, Brian. And certainly, family members of those that were hurt also very glad to hear that. We believe that three people were brought here to Penn Presbyterian for injuries. Two people initially, and then police said later a juvenile showed up. Uh, here at the hospital, they had been shot in the hand. We do know tonight one of those victims has been identified by their father. Take a look. His name is Nishan Tafik Richards. He's in his early 20s. I spoke to his dad as he left the hospital a short time ago. He said his son was shot in the abdomen, but he is alert and he's responsive and he will likely need surgery. This was an event. This was for the E. And um, I don't appreciate everything that happened or whatever. My son was an innocent bystander. You got thousands of people just at a Muslim gathering. Could have been any type of gathering for, you know, Muslims, Christians, Catholics, or whatever. This is supposed to be in a safe haven and people to feel safe. And I'm just tired of all the violence and the nonsense that's going on. 
Yeah, you can hear the distress and the emotion in his voice, calling on the community to, quote, do better when we spoke there. Now, earlier in the day, we saw a lot more activity here outside the hospital, including one woman who was hobbling into the ER, being held up by two other people. And we also saw family and friends gathering outside here. But at this point, a lot of those people have left the area, as have police. Powelton Avenue was closed for a time, but it's also back open. Of course, though, the investigation still very active, just a short distance away from where I am right now. But for now, live outside Penn Presbyterian, Leland Pinder, Channel 6 Action News. Brian? Okay, Leland, thank you. As we mentioned, several children were separated from the families during the chaos, some as young as two years old. Action News reporter Brianna Smith live at the Family Reunification Center. Brianna, tell us what you saw there today. Well, Brian, a really scary situation. Uh, many people gathered here at Clara Muhammad Square where the event took place and then ran in all different directions once those gunshots rang out. And then they were able to reunite with their family members at the school across the street. That's Clara Muhammad School. And thankfully, they were able to reunite. Now go ahead and take a look at the aftermath of the scene. Yellow crime tape surrounds Clara Muhammad Square and debris from the celebration is scattered everywhere. Now we spoke to many people who were at this event saying hundreds were here for the end of Ramadan. We spoke to one mother who says one minute they were celebrating and then the next minute they were running for their lives in all different directions. She says people of all ages sprinted away. Children, teens and adults and children were hysterically crying. Now during the chaos, she says she was separated from her nephew, but thankfully they were reunited at the school. She also says her teenage relative was shot and is undergoing surgery at the hospital, hoping he will be OK. Go ahead and, and take a listen. And I hope you actually have a speedy recovery and I'll be seeing you tonight. I love you and I'm sorry that this happened. I'm I'm just disgusted. <laughs> when you sit here and I'm sitting here just replaying the everything and it's just like it's stuck. It's just, it's stuck with you. It stays with you. What was it like for someone like me who wasn't here when you heard the gunshots ring out? Scary. Scary. Uh you had a lot of screams. You heard babies. You heard actual men. People were actually screaming and crying because they didn't know if it was about to be their last breath. Now they're trying to figure out how they're going to recover from something like this. Again, this is what the scene looks like right now. You can see police officers are still here monitoring the situation. The crime tape is up. Debris is scattered everywhere. Community members have been out picking up what's left on the ground. And as the investigation continues, people at the event are wondering why their peaceful gathering had to end this way. And they say they hope that local leaders come up with a solution to put an end to this ongoing gun violence. Live in Parkside, Brianna Smith, Channel 6 Action News. Brian? Yeah. Yeah, my goodness, that woman really crystallizes the panic everyone must have felt uh, in those moments. Brianna, thank you for ongoing coverage of this breaking news event into the night tonight. We encourage you to stay with 6ABC.com. There you'll find the very latest as we learn it from investigators.